Hello, I'm Dr. Dale Caldwell, host of Family Business World, and I'm so excited to have uh, a special guest today, uh, Keith Reynolds, and uh, Lori may join us later. She's busy working. They're the owners of RVN TV that you're watching this, this show on right now. Keith, welcome. Thank you for having me on, Dale. Well, it's an honor, an honor to have you, and uh, uh, we're new to the family and really have met some of the, the, the many wonderful hosts you have. Can you tell me a little bit about the business, and, and how did you start it, and why did you start it, and, and, um, and wow. what's going on? We, I don't know if I have just a half hour. It could be <laughs> it's, two it's hours for us, business. But, but, but we really, um, you know, I was, um, you know, working for Comcast. My company was one of the largest contractors for Comcast. And through that, you know, I got to see kind of like the other side of Comcast, mm -hmm. the, uh, the the TV, the network side mm -hmm. of things. And, mm -hmm. you know, I always said something is, you know, coming that's bigger than than anything else. Right, right. Um, so, um, you know, uh, our company dissolved, my company dissolved. And, uh, you know, also as a, as a entrepreneur, you know, I sat there and said, you know, um, I will never be complacent again mm -hmm. because, you know, it kind of left me unemployed when right, I dissolved right. it. Absolutely. And, uh, you know, so I started this business. I saw this vision of, you know, TV streaming world mm -hmm. uh, was, was, was coming into play, but it was probably about almost 15 years off. Right, right. You know, right. but I saw what they were doing and building and research. So we started it and, you know, um, now you were also looking at the probably the reality TV trends, right? The that, that they're TV moving trends, from just entertainment yeah, to right. discussion. Right? Well, well, you think about it. Fifty years ago, you know, Kirk Douglas has mm -hmm. a kid, Michael right. Douglas, right. and and that's how you know the television world was. Right. You know, that's right. how it was done. Right now, you know, the reality TV series like Who the Hell Sookie, you know, or Stokey, right, right, whatever. Right. <laughs> I mean, I didn't watch it that much, but I mean, like seriously, I mean, you have these reality people come in, and um, it's kind of changed um, and when it came in it was good because it was authentic right but right. I think over the time with anything it's it's you know we overkill it to kind of make it more interesting right but I think what the TV world is kind of missing is that people just want real things right. now I mean right. they, they really do so that trend is kind of right Right. Kind of going off uh, to the wayside a little. But. And, and, and the information. I mean, podcasts now are, are incredibly yes. popular, more popular right. than ever. And so this whole information. So, so, so tell me about how was the setup? How was RVN, for those that don't know, how was RVN TV set up? And, and, um, well, and, as far as like the structure of the shows. We pretty much right now we have somewhere around 50 shows that we do uh, on our network. Uh, and we're looking to get to about a hundred, so nice. we're always looking for hosts. And, and quite honestly, I you know back in the day uh, of starting this up, you know I kind of just threw whatever to the wall, and <laughs> you know now we're very selective mm -hmm. on who we bring on. Uh, to Other our than this brand. show, you, you picked me, so uh, I picked you because you, 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 know, you know what I mean. Uh, so uh, you know, you know the, really, the other I, hosts are much much better than uh, that. So. No, <laughs> that's the, you know, no, I, I really, I, we we really uh, we try to really select the people that we think that understand our community that we're building and. Um, you know, understand educating. People mm -hmm. do not want to be mm -hmm. sold anything in today's world. They right. want to be educated to make good decisions in whatever they do. Mm -hmm. um, so we found that uh, these 50 that we have uh, are wonderful hosts and new ones that we've just bought on. And, uh, you know, like I said, we're looking for, for new show hosts. But, um, you know, basically we do shows, lifestyle shows, business shows. Right, right. Uh, we do some food shows. Right. Uh, that are really popular. Uh, we try to have a good mixture of really all different types of shows. And, and, and really morning discussion shows. You've had celebrities on the shows. Who, who are some of the celebrities that so have been interviewed on, we on do the these, shows? Uh, we do these hot topics that uh, every morning on our morning coffee, mm -hmm. which is a live broadcast, um, just like the news. And uh, we've interviewed on these 10-minute windows uh, uh, we do like Steve Harvey. We've mm -hmm. interviewed Wonderful. when he was making his big Strayer uh, University right. you know, campaign. Mm -hmm. We interviewed him. We've interviewed Barbara Cochran uh, from Shark Tank, right. which uh, is she is she's unbelievable. She's not, you know, I know people kind of see her as on Shark Tank right. a certain way, right. Right. but she's a fascinating, wonderful woman. No. Um, if he comes across a little brash, mm -hmm. that's because of Shark Tank. Right. Uh, right. But she's really a great lady. Yeah. Um, We've interviewed Chad Pennington. Mm -hmm. um, he's another one. Yep. Uh, and then some, like, you know, probably some names, like, you know, that people really don't 
no because they're not you know in the face of TV right, or right, whatever. Right, but we right. interview uh, you know people from Fidelity Investment, right, right. which are you know they're a huge player in the market. But you never really hear those people's right, names. Right, and they probably right. don't even know who they are. And, but, and a lot of up and coming people too. Yep. I mean people that you you know who will be household names later. I mean you yep. know the, I know other shows have products, and so I mean it's really it's yeah. an amazing mix of. Of, of folks and, and now your audience, your viewing audience is, so you viewing, know, yeah, yeah. Yeah. So our viewing audience, you know, right now, um, we're about 850,000 viewers come to our network Wonderful. Uh, every month to, to see our shows. Uh, we're on, uh, the network's Roku, mm -hmm. Apple TV. Um, and we just signed an agreement to go to uh, fire stick Wonderful. and it's all on a, uh, you'll be able to all see all of our shows mm -hmm. on, um, uh, on our partner's uh, network called mm -hmm. iFame. Okay. Uh, so uh, our one partner, Rob Schwartz, shout out Rob. Mm -hmm. uh, he's, you know, uh, very few people building this over the last eight years are really, um, they're, you know, kind of committed to their word. Right, right. Rob is probably one of the very few guys in business, the business world that I met that he is just solid as a rock. He, you know, not too much stuff shakes right, him. Right, He's just right. a good, good dude <laughs> to be partners with. So I, I really appreciate it. Well, and 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 one of the one of the wonderful things, and it's interesting because I obviously talked to a lot of family businesses, uh, but working with you and Lori, the other your other half, who will join us hopefully hopefully soon. She's actually helping to run the studio when 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 we have you know the CEO here. We've got to have people behind the scenes, but. Um, it's been great working with you because I can talk to Lori and Lori's mm -hmm. out, you're busy out, and then when you come home at night, you can have the conversations about, uh, now when, when, when you go home, sure. do you try to minimize those conversations about business or, you know, since it's a family business, or do you still kind of conduct business when you, when you get home? Well, you know, Lori, Lori really, um, you know, she handles like the back end of stuff uh, just, you know, just to help me out. Right, um, right. So, you know, it's almost a necessary that she asks me questions. Right. Um, and, uh, you know, sometimes I, I get a little frustrated, but, you know, it, you know, as an entrepreneur, as a visionary, mm -hmm. so I'm a visionary guy. Right, right, you know, right. She's more, you know. So she's the nuts and bolts. Lori's like the, the, the nuts the, and the bolts. the detail type person. Right, right. So it's so, a great combination. It's a great yeah, combination. But, but to me, like, she doesn't understand me when, uh -huh. I, the, when I think. And, and you know what, quite honestly, not a lot of people do, like, right. understand visionaries, you know. Right, right. So it's a little tough in the conversation. Right. It can right. be, you know, uh, stressful. At but times. Work, working with family businesses, that's part of it. That's the beauty and the challenge. Yeah. Yep. And, and, and in some ways, it's, it's I mean, I, I, I love the way you, the two of you mix because you are very different personalities. Mm -hmm. I think if you were the same personality, it might not work as well. And you've brought yeah. in other people on your team here. And I mean, yeah. RVN TV is it's really, and, and I'm new to it, it's an amazing place. Thank you. Thank and, you. and I think the potential is particularly great uh, because, yeah, we have our shows and we have shows at a certain time. And this is, you know, 10 a.m. on Thursdays and 8 p.m. on Thursdays. But the streaming component, that this can be eventually sent to anyone in the world is really powerful. Yeah. Well, and, I mean, um, yeah. Um, well, well, who are your competitors? I mean, in, in, in the Northeast, are there, I don't know anybody that's really doing it the way you're doing it. No, I mean, look, I mean, the competitors, and I don't call them competitors because they're, they're I'm not at their level and I don't want to ever be at their level. Mm -hmm. I mean, uh, you know, the people like with Hulu, Roku, the, the, those are streaming platforms mm -hmm. that are at the top of the food chain. Mm -hmm. um, for me, um, I never want to be at that level. Mm -hmm. I, I always want to be, uh, cause we're, we're Switzerland here. Right. Right. We pretty much. We want to hear everybody's thoughts and everything. Um, but I would rather be uh, a feeder program mm -hmm. to those people that are looking maybe to get to that level. Because mm -hmm. when you get to that level, uh, you know, you know, in the green room, we just heard one of our, our, our right. next guest coming on and he's right. in the QVC world and right. he was telling them how, you know, he was short a couple thousand purchases in on QVC and they, you know, talking about cutting the show. Right. Yeah. Right, well, right. you don't have that here. I mean, because it's not about selling anything. It's really about educating. Mm -hmm. So it's a little different in our world. Uh, but I would, you know, I would, what I want to do is be able to be the farm system for a lot of hosts and everything that 
that maybe they do get seen, uh, you know, in the bigger network and, and maybe they're interested in purchasing a show or, you know, stuff like that. Well, but one of the things, and so one of the reasons I'm really excited about this show is that, you know, the family business, family businesses represent more than 60% of the, of the employment, of the gross mm -hmm. domestic product, and about 78% of the new employees. And, but, but more importantly, family businesses do things a different way. And so sure. one of the problems with big you know, is that big in every industry doesn't work as well. And so in the, in the entertainment industry, one of the challenges we have is that, that even with the news media, the, that, that they're corporate and that there are certain things that impact the corporate yeah. brand so they can't tell the truth. You and Laurie are very relaxed and you let people, you're not going to tell me what to say on my show or what to do nope. what other people. And, and so people are actually getting the information that they used to get Right. But now it's screened. Now it's processed. Mm -hmm. And so, you know, I, I, that's what I really like about what, you, you know, what you're doing. Say a little more about that as you've looked. Was that one of the vision that, that you saw? You said, we yeah. want the truth. We just want, you know, un, uncut. Yeah, I mean, look, I mean, when we come, when people come on and start doing their shows and or the host or guests come on to, you know, talk, they always, the first thing they say is, well, okay, what can, I, what can I say and can't say? And mm -hmm. I... You can say anything you want. I mean, um, you know, as long as there's no profanity or right, whatever. Right, and right. some of our shows, we might have a little bit of profanity. <laughs> but, 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 you know, like, look, I mean, it's really, we want your honest opinions of the things, you know. I, you know, I believe that the world is really, we have to do some things because, you know, I got six kids. Mm -hmm. And, you know, at the end of the day, I'm a little fearful 50 years from now when I'm not here. Right. Uh, we have to start doing things to change our environment. Mm -hmm. Um, and, and things like that. But, but I think that, you know, you know, for the, the, for the table that's set for them, look in our, look at our, you know, politicians, they, right. they argue, they mudsling. Mm -hmm. That's not a way to save, solve right. problems. Right. Exactly. You know, you have to start listening to one another. Mm -hmm. We do as a, as a country, as human beings. Mm -hmm. And I think that these types of platforms can do mm -hmm. that. Um, and change and give the voice. You know, we're, we want to work with the unions, right? Mm -hmm. Perfect example. You know, unions, you know, people go by, uh, they drive by, uh, you know, some a picket line, mm -hmm. and they got the big rats blown up there, right? right? right, right, right and, right, right. you know, people like picket signs saying crazy stuff. Right. Well, people are like, I just want to get my morning coffee. Right. Like, what's going on, right? So we, you know, we've pitched to the unions, hey, you know what? Come talk on TV do a show, come talk on TV and tell why people, you know, why you're upset, mm -hmm. you know, because I know with my kids, you know, you know, when they were in high school, the colleges could come in and talk, the right. military right. could come and right. talk, right. but those unions weren't right. coming in and talking to those kids. And, and, They're and scared. There, and there's some other groups that are, so we're going to take, um, we're yep. going to take a short break. And then when we come back, hopefully we'll have the other half of the team uh, to, uh, to join us. compliment because it's our uncommon drive our spark within that brings us together and sets us apart we are temple made and when others take shortcuts when others take breaks when others take the easy way we take charge add us on social media to watch bloopers behind-the-scenes footage, previews, and more. I work 13 hours a day, six days a week. So when I'm off the clock, I gotta get stuff done. So when I need a snack, I need something healthy, tasty, and easy to eat. Like wonderful pistachios without the shells. They're protein powered, delicious, and great on the go. And that's perfect for me. Thanks, Liz. A woman without a lot of time. 
Whether you're a gourmet cook or just want to eat like one, visit Rostelli Market Fresh, your home for the freshest locally sourced ingredients to please everyone who loves great food. Our organic meats, quality seafood, and free-range poultry are cut fresh to order. Chefs create culinary-inspired prep foods made fresh every day, which pair nicely with our vast selection of fine wines and spirits. Choose from handmade pastas, artisan cheeses, organic produce, and grocery items, all from the finest purveyors. Rostelli Market Fresh, from our family to yours. RVN TV is a platform for people of any industry to share their story. Over 285,000 viewers are tuning in to RVN TV shows monthly. We guarantee a great experience that you'll be sharing with everyone you know while increasing your personal and company's brand awareness. But what is your brand? According to Forbes, it's a combination of your logo, your product, your design and feel, and your personality. Did you know that aside from being a guest, we offer even more opportunity to boost your brand? Adding your company logo and website on screen during your interview will allow viewers to recognize your brand instantly. Incorporating images and video clips is another great way to showcase your product during your live segment. Let viewers see how good you really are. And most importantly, there's you and your interview. For less than the cost of a newspaper, direct mail, or a magazine ad, you can leave our studio and within 48 hours have a permanent digital copy of your live segment to link to your social media, embed into your company website, or use in email marketing. Investing in your brand is so very important, and we can't wait to have you as a guest. Shelter dogs aren't broken. They've simply experienced more life if they were human, we would call them wise. Hello, I'm Dale Caldwell, host of Family Business World. We're back with the Reynolds. Uh, Lori has just joined us. They're the owners of RVN TV that you're watching now. Um, and so I wanted to kind of uh, uh, welcome Lori and, and uh, um, just congratulate you. As I said, they're a dynamic duo. I'm new to this TV, but they both work together very well. Behind the scenes, operational, tactical, the visionary, and uh, you know, I'm sure there's conflict and so on, but they've put together something pretty amazing, and I think worth the start. We're just the beginning, I, I think, and so, um, so, 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 Laurie, uh, you know, one of the things that, uh, um, you know, that you've uh, you've been here and you've been behind the scenes, um, tell me a little bit about uh, your experiences here, with uh, with working <laughs> with people. You you seem to keep the trains running. So, um, so you have to deal with all different personalities, and, and, and uh, how do you do that? How do you, how do you work with so a variety of, and, and virtually everybody's a type A, right? Everybody who <laughs> has their own show is a type A. I've how worked, do you deal with the different type A's? I've worked with a few uh, type A's over the years. Um, my, before I, you know, hurt my back and stuff, and I was um, working in the work, mm -hmm. you know, in work field, um, I had all customer service Pretty much okay. everything I ever did was customer service background, right, whether it right. was for doctors, banking, lawyers. Mm -hmm. um, so I've worked with a lot of people. So when he set this up, it was kind of easy to help him put things in place right. so that everyone that works for him can kind of follow a, you know, like a format and just kind of keep it moving smoothly. <laughs> and, and you're technologically, you're amazing. I don't know how you, you know, I would go crazy with all the different files and the formats and the changes and the internet and that thing. And, and, and I understand, you know, between the two of you, you have six kids. Yeah. And so you're able to run, you know, a major TV network and that kind of stuff and then go home and talk work. And, and so what's your secret? What's your secret of success? You work together, you live together. I know it's not easy, but what's your, what's your relationship secret of success? The two of you, either. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I mean, my inspiration is really a, my turbo. Mm -hmm. so, oh, there you go. There you go. That's his the, turbo. My boy. His dog. Uh, yeah. uh, my dog. He's, <laughs> uh, like, he, you know, I talk to him. Really, I don't really talk. To, oh, you know, she's sitting yeah. in the room. I talk to him, and she answers. So, <laughs> I do. You know. I do. You talk to her through him. That's right. So that's that's yeah. a communication secret. So yeah. yeah. Uh, so, but, so. No, you know what? I mean, look. I, for you know, family-owned businesses, if you if you try to tell us you don't take things home, that that's insane. Right, right. Mm -hmm. exactly. Um, it just happens. You you know, from getting up in the morning to the car ride home right. to getting there and 
fixing dinner, you're talking about business. Yeah. It just yeah. is what it is. Right. Part um, of the key is taking separate vehicles to work. Right, right, um, right. Yeah, he comes in early. You know, I'm getting the kids to school and whatever, and um, you know, and and depending on how I'm feeling, I may just stay home and work from work from home some yeah, days. Right. I don't always feel up to you know coming in and hanging out and. Yeah. Um, you know, so sometimes I help them from home, you know, whether it's the comfort of laying on the couch or, you know, um, but, you know, and just knowing mm -hmm. when to shut it off. And right, right, right. Yeah, sometimes to, yeah. it's like, okay, it's enough. I don't want right. to hear any more about it right. today. Yeah. Right. Like, just, we'll deal with it tomorrow. I can't. Yeah. I, don't I think hear that's anymore. a big thing, you know. Uh, seven days a week, you know, people are sending emails, right. questions, everything. And it doesn't stop. Right. No. Um, but, but as you know, you just, I mean, I think that's with any business right. owner, um, you have to shut it off. Yep. So, you know, when it's family time, I like my phone is usually because it dies of battery. Right, right, right. Leave it off. <laughs> but but I, I won't answer my phone. I won't have my phone on me. And, you know, because I just, you know, it's, it's family time and you want to Mine's talk. always on. Hers is always on, <laughs> you know, yeah. and social media too, so. Yeah. No, whatever. It's, and, and you're disciplined, but, but, but one of the things, and, and as, as, as this show grows, you know, conflict is, is so much a part of family businesses, and, and if they sure. can overcome that mm -hmm. conflict, doesn't mean everybody gets along, but if they can overcome that conflict, that's, that's half the battle. Mm -hmm. But I yeah. even experienced, I know we, early on we were setting up this show and some things, and and, um, you know, I, I had to send something late to Lori and said, I'll just ask Keith, you know, instead of saying, I got to wait till Monday morning to do that, I'll just ask Keith. And, 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 and that's, that's very, very powerful. One of the other things that's really, that, that I really want to celebrate in family business, you, you give back to the community. I mean, one yeah. of the things, you know, your drive, you want to make a profit, you want to do well, but, but it isn't all about money. It isn't all about squeezing out every dime. And, and, and we're in a society that people think if you're not getting the maximum money, then you're, you're failing. And so that's it. Tell me how you've given back to the community. You've done some amazing things. Well, you know, she will say money. I will, you know, I mean, <laughs> I, I'm more, you know, the, 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 the person I feel like, you know, with the give back stuff. I mean, like, you know, we, besides our six kids, we have five dogs. But six so, kids and five so dogs. We, and we, you're still running this business. It's amazing. You know, we yeah. do. So we have, uh, we do animal shows here. Yeah. And two of them came home with us because they wouldn't leave her alone. Oh, so wow. we figured. Yeah. Out. So there's and they, they look alike. They, those two look alike. <laughs> oh, that's so but, um, but, you know, we, we try to do that. Um, you know, we're really trying to work with some the fostering community, mm. um, you know, uh, to, to really help because, you know, we, for what we do or we own, you know, we binge watch a lot of stuff because mm. we like to see what people are doing right, and different right. storylines. Mm. Right. So we binge watched uh, the, this show called The Fosters. Mm. Okay, okay. And, you know, it I, was, you know, it. look, it, it's tough out there. When mm. you age out of the fostering programs, you're out. Right. Um, so we're trying to work on some properties mm. to that we can house foster kids. Oh, wonderful. And, you know, one Thank of the properties would be t to help you know, kids in this this industry, entertainment, in, yeah. you know. entertainment stuff like that. Um, and then the other one, the other house that we're trying to get is more driven because there's a, a vineyard on it. Right. Oh, wow. So oh, wow. kids with holder culture experience or want to be in that agricultural, or agricultural, culinary, culinary stuff like that. I love so. It. We're just trying to make a difference. I mean, when, when I created this thing, you know, uh, eight years ago, uh, you know, I said I wanted to change the world, and a lot of people laughed at me, including her, <laughs> and maybe Turbo. I laugh at him all the time. <laughs> but, I laugh at him all the time. Um, you, know, but, uh, <laughs> you know, really, I mean, because, you know, we, we really have to do something. Right. Um, I, I think that there's, um, I won't say dark times are coming, mm -hmm. but we just have to do better for, right. you know, the people that are going to be here after us. Right. Um, and you know, right now I, I'm I'm just worried. Yeah. I, yeah. I think that we're not. I mean, how much have we changed since, you know, the 16th century? Right. So the, we like century 16th yeah, century. Yeah, we maybe. like those old shoes. Right. Those shoes, you know. <laughs> right, right. But, but historical. You know, stuff. Uh, you know some of the the government activities. I mean, how different it is is the king sending his right. guys down into the village and taking taxes. It's right. Not a lot. Right. Right. It, it's not different. It's not much different. You know, different. I mean, and, exactly. and in today's world, we we. We should be different. Yeah. We we can live better. We can live longer. 
you know, and there's just a lot of stuff that I think we really need to do better, though. Well, it's, it's and so I have, as, as you know, I'm executive director of the Rothman Institute of Innovation and Entrepreneurship at Fairleigh Dickinson University, and, and family businesses are, are one of our specialties as well as veteran businesses. And, and I wrote a book on influence called Intelligent Influence. So I have a consulting practice focused on all that exists is influence, that there is no reality other than influence. Our favorite mm -hmm. food, our sports scenes, our music are all influence. Right. And so one of the reasons I really want to do this show and, and really is because family businesses not only comprise most of the employees, they're more likely to do what you just talked about. They're more likely to give back to the community. Right. My dad knew in March with Dr. King. I have a picture of, of my dad with Ralph Abernathy and Dr. King when they were organizing, a, it was a press conference to march uh, in Boston wow. to integrate the Boston Public Schools. So I, I come from this trying to give back. And so I've seen the love in family businesses that they're the group that actually can begin to change the world. Right. And that really begin to hire people people who are unemployable, mm -hmm. to give back to the community, to support that, and you're living that, but you're doing it not just for yourself, but by doing this network, you're allowing people to give back to a community. Mm -hmm. And I think family businesses, and it sounds, are actually can be the savior. You know, we're often looking at, I like to say what I call people up instead of, people say bottom up, but I say people up instead of top down. Mm -hmm. We've lived in a world that's top down, that you have the rich and the powerful dictating networks and dictating businesses and dictating government when in reality, average people have been forgotten. Yeah. And so I really see your show and I see this whole family business thing to, to really be part of it. So, so given that, we've talked about some of the things in the few minutes we have uh, with, with some of the government and bureaucracy. You want to share some of those? You don't have to go into specifics, but it's been hard, right? I mean, there, there are people who have gotten in the way of you being successful. Yeah, yeah I mean, there's yeah, there's times. I mean, look, uh, but... Sometimes you're in your own way. Uh, yeah, I mean, yeah. I mean, I always tell happen. you know we. That's one of the things we say. You know, there's business owners out there that, you know, I hate the word recession. You mm -hmm. know what? Recession is a word for business owners that didn't get out of their own way and they they it's oh the recession got me. Right. No, dude, you right. got yourself because right. you have to find ways around it. Every day uh, we are faced with something. Right. Yeah, something out of the box. Thank right. Yeah, sometimes. I mean, and you know what? You can't look at the you know uh, that the world's picking on you. It, right. It's not picking on you. It's just the way it is. And yes, it's frustrating. And and you know, there's times where, you know, sometimes I'm just like, forget this. Let's right. let's right. just go. Right. You know, I'm gonna I'm gonna I'm gonna close up shop, and me and Turbo are gonna go live in Bahamas. Right. Him and Turbo. Yeah, and Tur me and Turbo are gonna live in the Bahamas. <laughs> With the too. But but you know, but but no, seriously, I, I just you know, I think there's just too much blame out there. Mm -hmm. um, you know, even honestly, you know, people of color. I just mm -hmm. you know what? Yeah, it, there's racism out there, mm -hmm. but it will never define me. Mm -hmm. You know, and I'll never let anybody define me as a human being or as a business person. So I don't allow those things to creep into my head yeah. once in a while. Yeah. 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 Sometimes, yeah. you know, I watched him over the years and he's, mm -hmm. you know, he's got his highs and other times, mm -hmm. you know, he's down. And right. when he's down, you, I just let him give him his space and let him work it out and and just, you know, you'll be all right. And then, you know, give him a couple of days and I go, you all right now? And he's all right now. I guess. And then he, yeah. You know, and then you just, you kind of have to, um, like you said, sometimes you got to yeah. shut it down and just, you yeah. got to laugh. Yeah. And like you said before about laughing. Yeah. Even the, the kids, like you said, I laugh at him a lot. Mm -hmm. But it, a lot of times it's getting the kids to laugh at him and mm -hmm. laugh with him. And Yeah, and you know, that's another thing. You speak of that, like, you know what's really helpful for me is, you know, like, you know, we are the owners of the business, but, you know, and Lori, Lori's really part-time because of, you know, her injuries, you know, she really can't do, you know, be a employee of ours. But, you know, my Benjamin, my, our, Benjamin. our youngest boy, mm, okay. who's 20 now, my baby, my I baby mean, bear. you know, this very studio and every studio we've been in, him and his buddies have helped me create these oh, sets. Oh, really? Design it. Help yeah. to design yeah, it. Design have, it. You yeah. know, what I mean, I really so. I have to say to Benjamin, he's yeah. been wonderful. And you know, a blessing. So is he heir apparent? Is this going to be the the next generation? Does it seem like? Mm -hmm. a, no, a he's, or he's he's not he's into this not world. He's not into this at but, all. But you know, but he'll come over. But and even, one of the you know, six will. Yeah, I mean, well, you know what? Our our our, our girl, boys, our, our boys, and you know, Ben's been more than anybody, but mm -hmm. our other boys have been over here and, yeah. and in other studios helping, and the girls are here, or you know, on their days off, and they love, uh, you know, Ava, who's already in this world. You know, yeah, she watches she's, YouTube, she's right. and 
she tells it, you know, she tells me what's going on right. in YouTube and, right. you know, the different things right. and, you know, so she's in like, they're making videos and doing right. their this, things. This is the world. She's, yeah. she's yeah. world. So, you know, Our if anybody's going to take it over. She'll yeah. say, give him like, why don't you do this with the set, daddy? Yeah. Yeah. So. He's like, that's a good so idea. It's, so it's a real family. I mean, you're involved. Some, you, we yeah. have, some of the, we yeah. have the, the kids involved. We have the dogs involved. Yeah. So this is. The dogs uh, come yeah. with me sometimes. Yeah. So, yeah. so yeah. And, and, you know, but back to your question about the government and, and hurdles and everything. I mean, listen. You know, a lot of people think it's the people down in D.C. Mm -hmm. Local government can hold you up, too. Right. You know, you got, you know, uh, <laughs> inspections, stuff like that. You got it like getting this. Getting permits. Getting permits. permits. I mean, yeah. it's been crazy. Well, well, but, well it's, it's, I mean, and, and one of the reasons we're going to, I guess, we have to wrap up soon. But yeah. one of the reasons I ask that is it's not so much that people are evil or they're the bad. And so one of no. the, again, one of the, no. one of the other hopes with this show is that we will let the powers that be to understand how important and what family businesses are. And frankly, it's not necessarily their fault. Family businesses have been so busy, they can't speak up and yell and say, what about us? Yeah. Why are you yeah. putting these regulations on us? You're actually you're preventing us from helping your cause. Sure. Yeah. And so, so as you think about what you've created, what, what, uh, what, what one or two words comes to mind is to, to close the show? RV and TV. You know, hope everybody will, will continue to watch it. What? Uh, well, we call it your personal network. There you um, go. I love it. Yeah, it's love you know, because uh, it's a it's a niche market out there where you know, look, we love Netflix. It's a streaming network, but it's about really about movies and some docu series. Mm -hmm. But we're you know a streaming network also. But we really you know um, we we're more educational, yep. Um, yep. and we give people the opportunity to talk about what's mm -hmm. going on in their world. Wonderful, wonderful. So, so, so I always like to end with our, our tagline now is watch family owned. So uh, thank you all very much, and we'll see you next week.